Hello. How are we today? Hopefully this wind isn't too loud. Hopefully you can actually hear me over the wind. We are at the Home Boys in Spokane, Washington. We're going to take a look at this uh, 1500 square foot home. This is called the Prestige. It's made by Fleetwood Homes. I do like that little nook they did up there. Of course, I didn't notice it right away, but they do have a nice little overhang on this home, so it's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and head on in. Hey, now that we're out of the wind, we got a decent sized living room. Now once again, this is only a 1500 square foot home, so it's not overly large. I do believe I forgot to mention that uh, not only is it a three bedroom home, but it also has a den. We'll get to that in just a moment. I like the colors they used here, not the standard white. They went with a <clears throat> kind of a grayish color. Really makes it stand out. Not looking like just your plain Jane everyday home. So once again, it's a decent sized living room. But then you also get, as you can kind of see it creeping in there, yeah, you get a den over there. We're going to come get you your dining room right here first. Now, especially the fact that this dining room is kind of right in the middle of everything. Whether you choose to put a dining room table there is, is obviously your choice or not. Plenty of room for a six-man table, as you can see. But I would definitely have to take some links out of that thing and move it closer to that ceiling that way I'm not bumping my head especially if I decided not to put the table in that exact position but now we we'll go over here to the kitchen and I really like this backsplash they used so if I can get you a closer shot of it so you've got a mixture of stone and glass it mixed all together in there giving you that kind of a rougher look but yet really I don't even know how to describe it so let me know in the comments down below which how you would describe that backsplash how you describe the look of it but I do like the fact that it goes clear up to the ceiling above the stove area Some different cabinetry by your stove. Usually it's just one big cabinet with the doors. You know, you'd have like a door opening this way, a door opening out this way. This is give you some storage for easy access to all your, say your cooking supplies, your spices, your things like that, your flour, your sugar, all that kind of stuff. Again, you got a stack of drawers right next to your stove too. 
throw your, all your utensils and stuff in there. So lots of cabinet space around your stove area. And you've got the nice farmhouse stainless steel sink. All the appliances are the Whirlpool brand. Like that faucet they use there. And I guess I totally missed that there actually is a pantry in this house. When I did my walkthrough. Did not even notice this door here. When I was going through turning the lights on. Speaking of lights. There, now you can see it better. Of course, there are a lot of supplies in there. Like I made, made use of peanut butter jars for paint supplies and things like that. Let's come down here. Oh wait, do we go there? Ah, we gotta get to the utility room first. I know, tease, tease, I know. So your utility room is not that big. Not even any cabinets in here. It is your washer and dryer hookups. That was your back door right there. So you got your water heater access back behind there. Obviously your furnace. So and how do you access it? You got a couple of screws there. There's a couple of screws down at the very bottom. And that whole thing pulls out and you get to your water heater. Now we can come show you the den. <laughs> I know. And of course now the sun is out from behind the clouds and making it difficult to show you. There's your den. <clears throat> so your bedrooms are going to be, bedrooms are going to be over there. Your bathroom is back behind there. And I really like the way they did this accent on the wall there. Of course, I wouldn't have that decoration up there. I'd have my TV hanging up off of there and then my receiver and all that stuff would be sitting on the shelf. The shot from over here. It's a really nice den area here. Usually you don't even see a den in your 1,500 square foot home, so it's nice to see. And back here, linen closet. Now the bathroom here isn't overly large. In fact, it's a little on the smaller side, but you do get this extra large one piece shower tub combo. As you can see, the tub portion of it is larger than the standard. Rain head shower included. Not a lot of cabinet space in here. Not a lot of, <clears throat> not, I meant to say counter space, but yes, not much cabinet space either. Just enough storage for all your basic stuff. Hello, Raiden. So for those of you that are new here, I do wave to my kid in all my videos. He likes to watch me wave to him. About the time I wave to him, though, he quits watching the videos. So sometimes I'll wait till I get to the master bedroom and do it. So you got these nice coat racks right here. Of course, I probably would have liked to seen these closer to the utility room. But it's nice to see that you've got the storage for your shoes and your coats and stuff. Allows for some more space in your uh, closets. Now this one obviously set up as a girl's room. Decent sized bedroom here. Good size closet though. So to kind of give you an idea of the closet size, get 
runs essentially from the corner there to right about just before that light switch is. So that's a good size closet. Bedroom number two. Now this one hasn't been staged, but it looks to be slightly larger than the previous bedroom. So once I've got the floor plans, of course you'll have already seen in that bedroom the size of the room pop up. And that's gonna do that in here also. Again, decent sized closets. Plenty of store closet space in there for, for the kids. The real question is, how much closet space did they give the adults? Guess we're about to find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> I know. I'm, I know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I've been trying to joke around a little bit more as I'm doing these videos. Trying to have a little more fun and just being the monotone that I do sometimes. I know. It sounds like, it, at least to me, it sounds like I get monotone. But uh, figure, you know, I might as well try to joke around, have some fun, be a little more entertaining since that's what these are for, is entertainment purposes, informational. So I guess it's a decent sized closet. Not as big as I was, was hoping for, but still a good sized walk-in closet. I mean, you got ton, or not a ton of storage space, but plenty of storage space for for two people. And you've got a good sized bedroom here. Nice gray accent wall in the back. Big window above your bed. I guess that's if you choose to put the bed there. You could put it, could choose to put it on this wall, but Our bathroom, got a nice, nice set of uh, vanity mirrors here. This one's got the recessed lighting above it instead of the light fixtures. Not a lot of counter space, but should be adequate for, for what you need. You got your storage space down below, a nice stack of drawers. And ladies, you get a great big deep soaker tub. I'm not sure how deep they are as far as measurement wise goes, but they are a little more than uh, knee high when you stand up next to them. And then you do have a one piece fiberglass shower here. Somebody's been drinking in the shower. Obviously, they don't have the doors set up in here, but uh, I think if it was an option, I would probably go for the tile just to make it feel a little bit more, a little bit more upscale. You know, because you got to live up to the name of the home, right? Living up to the name of the home, I guess you ought to live up to your to your job. I'm going to assign all of you a job that are watching the video. Go down there, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the home. While you're there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I upload. Currently uploading three times a week. Every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And hope to hear from you. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.